Hey, what up all my tooth doctors and doctresses. Welcome to another video at the Tooth Factory. Today's topic is NDAEB. Yes, it is Dental Assisting Board of Canada. This is for those who are already in Canada, wanting to pursue dentistry in Canada after their BDS in their home country, but they're tired of working these part-time jobs at restaurants and stores and so on. Do you want to get a job in the dental environment you've been hoping for? Do you want to learn dentistry firsthand in clinics, in presence and supervision of dentists, while you achieve your dreams of NDEB? Do you want to work as a dental assistant in Canada while you are on work permit and early PR so that you can get experience, learn lots from the dentist, and then appear for the NDEB? Make a better living for yourself than those stores? Well, here's your chance. All my dentists out there, this is NDAEB and how to get a license, a direct dental assistance license in Canada. Hey guys, so here we are, the NDAEB.ca, the National Dental Assisting Examining Board of Canada. So what is it? It's like NDEB, but for dental assistants. It overlooks every single dental assistant in Canada, whether you got formal training in Canada or whether you're an international graduate of assisting, hygiene or um, den dentistry itself. All of them, if you want to convert and move into practicing dental assistants, this board is something we have to get through. So let's go to international graduates and general information. First of all, let's find out where we belong, right? As say, for example, you have a BDS back in your home country and you're here already in Canada. Anyone who's educated outside of Canada is considered international, we know that. Qualified persons educated outside of Canada can write NDAV. Now who's qualified, right? To be eligible to write the NDEV examination, applicants must be qualified as intraoral level two dental assistants, which means either through formal training of dental assistant education or other formal allied dental healthcare education programs, such as dentistry or dental hygiene. This means that if you did BDS back home, if you did dental hygiene back home and you're in Canada, doing your student visa journey, and you don't want to keep working at uh, you know, a hardware store, a grocery store, or a restaurant, then you can opt for this board. You can take these two exams and at least make a good living for yourself, collect dental um, education, collect dental experience, and then work towards your dentistry dream. So this is your opportunity. So what should we have? What are the mandatory skills? Well, we got chair side dental assisting, we got exposing radiographs, uh, providing oral hygiene instructions, and many more different skills that obviously, if you were a dental assistant, hygienist, or dentist, you have control over, you know, such as applying liners, matrix bands, impressions, and fluoride, and so on and so forth. So these are the skills they're looking for. Now, Let's move on to the application procedure. How do you get to it? First of all, we need to prove our eligibility. Remember, in NDEB, we needed to submit our documents and then get the reports out sent to NDEB so they can tell us, okay, we're good to take the exams. Similarly, for NDAB, we need to do the same thing. So the candidates must have their credentials verified by one of the two options. First one is to submit their academic records to one of the three agencies. What agencies? Well, we have ICES, we have IQAS, and one of the more famous ones, WES. In uh, the World Education Services, we have to do a course-by-course -course report. You get that done with your um, back home transcripts and degrees and uh, all those important documents, and then get them through to NDAB. Or, or the second option here is candidates who have been granted eligibility by NDEB. So it, let's say you're here on student visa, you finished it, now you're on work permit and you've applied to NDEB and you've gotten the approval. Well, that's it. You can submit the NDEB, the NDEB status. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the NDEB's portal and then submit it to NDEB. This way you can get your approval eligibility for the assisting exams assisting license exams the second thing to complete is a 300 dollars fee as always there's always fees and copies of their transcripts that you need to send 
to the NDAV as well. Uh, there is a form here that they require us to fill. It's called a dental assistant coursework report. Now it's very simple. Let me click on it and we'll see what it looks like. Dental assistant coursework report. This sheet right here depicts various checklists and basically uh, details about our experiences. You know, for example, what are your educational credentials here? Or for example, when you move forward in this, they want to know what type of clinical procedures we've done so far in dentistry, or what, what subjects have you taken in, in, the, in your previous credential? Basically, it's a little booklet of your dental background put together into this. Once we submit all of this, then we're good to go. All we have to do is collect all those documents and then submit them back. So I'm going to go back to the International Graduates page here. So we have gotten the eligibility, we've paid the fees, and we've filled out the coursework report form, correct? So far, everyone's following? That's perfect. After that, we have a signed consent form. So it's just a regular form that, yes, you can disclose my documents. That's perfect. And at the end of it, all of them should be submitted to the NDAV. Once that's been submitted, they will review our documents and give us a date. The first step of getting the assistant license is writing the written examination. What is it? Just like AFK, it's a 200 multiple choice question. It's that simple. You have to be able to pass this exam first in order to move to the next one. So the next one is clinical practice evaluation, CPE. Also very simple. See, this, this paragraph is very important. After attaining a passing score in the written exam, you will be required to successfully complete the CPE before the NDAB certificate is issued. So what is it? Well, CPE is a half day clinical of nine intraoral skills performed on a mannequin. The details are available in the CPE section of this website. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. Once you've taken both of those exams, you are now able to uh, get your dental assisting license. Okay, so uh, clicking on the written exam, I've clicked here on the uh, candidate handbook that lets us know what's in the written exam. I've gone to the page directly, but you, the links are placed in the description box below for you. So what is asked for us is this test blueprint. This is the 200 multiple choice questions. Uh, we can be asked things like the professional setting conducts or dental sciences, basic sciences, clinical support procedure, patient records, and uh, pa you know patient management procedures, lab procedures, things like these. You can be asked on the written exam of the 200 questions. Similarly, when we click on the clinical practice evaluation and click on um, the um, handbook here, right down here, uh, we will be able to open up um, the CPE right here. And we can see here that the skills that are evaluated are such as exposing dental radiographs and obtaining the impressions and applying liners and so on and forth. If we are able to pass both of those exams, you are now a dental assistant in Canada. And uh, instead of you, you know, working at different stores, you can actually work in a dental environment. But remember, this is targeted towards the population that is already in Canada. When you're in Canada with your course and you're working on work permit and you want to have a better job, especially in the dental field, this is the job for you. So you can opt to take the dental assisting license before you do your NDEB. And that way you can work in the dental environment, have a better job, learn dentistry in Canada, and then go for your DDS route. So hope this helps. It is very narrow. I, I understand that, but I uh, hope it helps some people out there learn a few more things about it. And go ahead and click on the ndab.ca uh, in the description box below and learn more about it. Please like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot for your guys' support, and we will continue to provide you guys with more content.